What up guys, I'm your man Grizzle and welcome back to another episode of Gamers Who Don't Know Shit. Today I'm going to show you how you can change your secondary air injector on a 2007 Toyota Tundra. Uh, the lower liter engine and the 4.7, which is this one, uh, both have the same type of air injectors. There's one on each side. Uh, the 5.7 liter is underneath the air intake. so. If this is what if that's what you're looking for that then this video ain't gonna help you because you're not gonna know how to take that air intake out uh, it's the same concept same thing but you'll have to take the air intake out and their dual injectors right underneath of it so if you're having trouble with your truck bogging down you're putting your foot to the floor um, that's probably your problem and you know you put your foot to the floor and nothing happening you're just bogging down and I'll uh, I'm gonna show you what um what I'm talking about all right, so this is your air injector. Uh, what happens is, on these Toyotas, water gets up in your pumps and it pumps uh, water into your air injectors because there's no uh, cover on that pump. Uh, so if one of these on your truck goes bad, you're better off just uh, replacing both of them because you're not your your injector is getting stuck open, so the air is going in and it's supposed to force that valve open as you accelerate but it's stuck open so it thinks it's already at 50 miles an hour and that's why when you put your foot to the floor it's not working so if one's bad you might as well replace them both uh, probably later on down the line you're gonna end up having to replace those uh, pumps as well so alright guys here's your secondary air injector right here <clears throat> uh, you have three bolts one over there, one right here, and then one underneath that holds the whole assembly together. But then you also have two uh, bolts on right here and right underneath here uh, that need to come off to come out of that air line down there. Uh, and then that whole piece comes out. And I'll show you what that looks like. Alright guys, before you go ahead and pull this out after you get the nuts and stuff off, you're going to want to disconnect this uh, connector here you're just gonna push down or pull up on the uh, release pin and pull it out all right I got it halfway pulled out you can see the bottom uh, airline is out all the nuts are off that connector is out there is a uh, <clears throat> cable clamp right here that you gotta pull that uh, cable out so that's the old one there's the new one you can see <clears throat> these t studs right here that stud that stud and then you got one down here that stud that's what they mount to here's your uh, air intake here and then you have your connector that's gonna go back into it and <clears throat> you also have to put these studs that are part of this down into that line here and this is pretty much the hardest part is getting it all lined up. It might take you a, fin a little bit of finessing, but uh, you can get it. All right, guys, got the new one in. Uh, it took me about 30 seconds, and I got it. Uh, but basically, you're going to put your uh, line back here, back on here, like right here with the cable clamp. Uh, connect your connector right here. And you're going to put your new bolts, or put the bolts back on, and then you got two tens down here use deep socket deep socket because those threads stick out all right guys that's how it's done uh, if you have any questions go ahead and leave them down in the comments I'll be sure to help you out uh, if it did already help you out and you ain't got any questions let me know too uh, a guy a couple days ago said that they it really helped him out so I appreciate that um, but yeah I like helping people out especially on stuff like this because if you take it to the shop it's gonna cost you like 800 bucks uh, this part for the secondary air injector is only like $118. The installation of everything literally only took me the amount of times it, uh, it made me to uh, take this video. So, you know, 5-10 minutes. Unless the bolts are kind of rusted and you got to use some WD-40. So, don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.